Caught on camera, a group of gang members firing shots into a Coweta County home. You can see the flashes from those bullets as they were fired. Sadly, one of those bullets took the life of a 14-year-old girl. Haley Adams had just moved to the area to be closer to her mother. Now these five people will spend years in jail for killing her after they took all took plea deals. Fox House Doug Evans has covered the case since the very beginning. And he sat down with prosecutors to talk about the plea and that violent gang. Prosecutors say the break in the case was home surveillance video of a car leaving the murder scene back on February 11, 2020. Muzzle flashes were recorded. Authorities say one of the shots killed 14-year-old Haley Adams as she retreated from the home's front porch and was struck in the back by an AK-47 round. The video captured a bungled home invasion that night with the car pulling away as the suspects attempted to run in, jump in so they'd not be left behind. They, they don't care about the consequences. And, and ultimately, you know, the most innocent among us, um, you know, basically get get caught in, in the wake of this. With the help of Coweta County prosecutors, we can now put faces and names to that night. They say these four were the home invaders who broke into the house on Bethlehem Church Road, only to find the target of their crime wasn't home. It was just Haley and her mother. Prosecutors say the crime was orchestrated by ghost-faced gangster leader Billy Tyree. It was Justin Ramsey on the top left who fired the shots. They say he's a member of the gang, along with Kyle Conley and Aubrey Brown. Spencer Wicks is not in the gang, but hung out with them. He's Brown's brother. Prosecutors say Ramsey, Conley, Brown, and Wicks were supposed to rough up and steal guns from someone at the house, but he wasn't home. They say Haley had hidden in a room, but came to the porch with a BB gun as the four abandoned their plan and ran away. Ramsey fired the AK and hit Haley. It was, was this scrappy kid that, that basically runs to danger to defend her home and her mother. It's just one of the most tragic cases that, that I've handled uh, since I've been a prosecutor. All five accepted plea deals and were sentenced in Coweta County Court. For his role, Ramsey pleaded guilty to 15 crimes, including murder. He got life. Ghostface gangster leader Billy Tyree pleaded guilty to crimes, including aggravated assault and street gang activity. He got 60 years. The others also got decades-long sentences. Prosecutors say the Ghostface gangsters operate in Georgia prisons and communities throughout the state. We've got a ways to go, but I think this, this is a significant uh, and just outcome for, you know, both for, for Haley and her family and the community, but, but also the fight against uh, Ghostface and, and all gangs. In Coweta County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.